We've been lucky enough to stumble upon one of the greatest private island resorts I have ever been to, the Palm Island Resort in the Grenadine Islands. Our stay here has been quite memorable. The resort offers private picnics to its guests, complete with your own chef. We were invited along by Tom and Joanne and their daughter Megan, and it reminded me of one of the greatest parts about traveling, the people. You really get to meet great people from all over the world you otherwise never would have had a chance to meet from all walks of life. And sharing your time in paradise with other great folks just adds to the fun. I was so impressed by Palm Island Resort, I wanted to go straight to the source and find out how they managed to make this place so amazing. Hi, I'm here with the general manager of the Palm Island Resort. This is Chris. Lindsay, welcome to Palm Island. Pleasure thank having you, you on thank Palm. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Yes. I don't want to go home. Great, great. We are happy to have you. <laughs> um, can I ask you, what is it that's sort of the heart and soul for you about Palm Island? Some of the aspects we pride ourselves on at Palm Island is uh, our ability to give our guests lighter, healthier option food. Mm. We have a greenhouse on island, so you'll find that most of the fruits, vegetables and herbs that you get in your menu, be it lunch, be it breakfast, be it dinner, they're all incorporated through the greenhouse. They're all organic, and this is what you'll be eating on a daily basis on Palm Island. You know what I really like too is, it almost seemed like the second I put my foot on the sand, somebody was greeting me with a drink and they knew my first name. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the things, again, on Palm Island, when, when our guests arrive on the jetty, I'm there to greet you, my staff are there to greet you. So oh. you'll find that on a daily basis as you go around, uh, they, they, they will greet you by your names, and it's not, that, it's not a facade. They would have already have all the details before you came on island, and they're greeting you, meeting you on the jetty. When one hears the name, it's a special feeling. Mm -hmm. So I hear my name from my staff, it's a special feeling to me. Yeah. My guest hears their name from my staff, it's a special feeling to them. Yeah, and I've, uh, all the resorts and the places that I've traveled to, I have never had that happen yes. anywhere. It, it, it's amazing, no matter where I was, like he's saying, this morning the gardener, good morning Miss Lindsay, at dinner last night, oh what can I get you Miss Lindsay? Just, I, it, you're, you're right, it's just a yeah. really special feeling. But I'm happy you've experienced it yourself, it's a home away from home feeling. Significantly to the Palm Island uh, progress, you'll find that when my guest arrives, and we've also taken into consideration that they would have been traveling for an entire day. So there is no formality when you arrive. In fact, the only formality will be to offer you a beverage at the jetty, yeah. and after that we'll whisk you straight away to your room. Lindsay, we've even had clients check in on the day they're checking out. <laughs> that is how laid back we are on Palm Island. We have your bags, we know where you are, we can easily locate you. It's only 132 acres, so it's no fuss, it's no, it's no, it's no pressure on our guests to come by the front office in their own leisure time and just check it. I can't tell you how great that is instead of, I'm sure you've been there before, you're there and you got off the plane and you're sweaty and you're tired and you're thirsty but then you have to stand in line at the reception and it's the big process of all that so to literally come off the dock and have a cocktail handed to you and have you whisked away to your air-conditioned what is it, your room or go to the pool, wherever you want to, as soon as you get here, no fuss, no muss, just pure relaxation. I can't tell you how great this is and I can't wait till I come back. Lindsay, you'll be more, we'll be more than happy to have you back, all right? <laughs> Chris, thanks so much. Pleasure having you, okay? And we do hope to have you back again. It's your home away Absolutely. from home, all right? I'm Whenever gonna have, you're there. Uh, I'm gonna have my mail forwarded here and change my address. <laughs> we'll be happy to have you. I'll just build you another bungalow on the other end of the island, all, all right. right? Okay. <laughs> well, after a long trip, it was finally time to don my bathing suit and get into the perfect blue water. And hey, they had snorkel equipment at the resort and it was totally free of charge. Free is an anomaly in the holiday world, but not here. It's against the Palm Island philosophy. Snorkeling is amazing. A few bits of plastic and you can turn a mysterious underworld into a voyeur's backyard. I had only dreamt of flying before, but by far, this was the closest in reality to flying I have ever been. Did I feel like a big kid while snorkeling? Or more like a mermaid? Hard to tell. But one thing is certain, it makes you feel symbiotic with the sea and Mother Earth. As far in a world you can see with this mask on, you'll still feel very safe and connected to your beach chair, your towel, and of course, your drink. 
It's only at this very moment that I realize the most incredible things to discover when traveling are free. I always thought the saying, the best things in life are free, was a total cliche. But for the first time in my life, I finally understand what my elders meant. Nature is the ultimate entertainer. And here on Palm Island, nature had a captive audience in me. I was told that people spend 30 hours researching a vacation. I know people work hard, and when they finally make time to get away, many of them just want to plop down on a beach and be pampered at an all-inclusive mega resort. And hey, you know what? I've done that as well. But if I've learned one thing from this trip, it's that it truly is rewarding to the soul to take the extra time to find out about the roads less traveled. Exploring is good for the soul. And the more you expose yourself to new things, the more you can discover about yourself. I certainly did here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines.